Hi YouTube, it's Trev here from The Music Room and today I'm singing to you, apparently. Right. G'day YouTube, it's Trev here from The Music Room, back with another reaction. Today's song is from Alice in Chains and the song we're listening to today is Down in a Hole. So let's get into it. I know I'm stopping it early, and I promise I won't do it throughout the rest of the song. But with with the vocals, it is almost overpowering how incredible the harmony is between Jerry and Lane. Yes, the music is fantastic as well, and we'll touch on that a little bit later, but the harmonies are what gets you here in the heart. Sets like a funeral. Candles, drapes, dark lighting. Just listen also to the bass. It dances all over this song. And what you'll also notice is the voice of Lane and Jerry almost answer back as in a conversation to the bass. And at times it then clicks in and then follows each other. the last time I'll stop it before the end I promise I just wanted to say Lane was so well known for his voice it obviously because he's a lead singer but because it was so unique the fact that he held power so far back in his throat it's almost nasally but could belt out a note better than most so just just appreciate the fact that this guy's expressions um, you know he's not physically getting into the note or the sound but what he projects is um, massive it's huge he has the range 
of say a Guns N' Roses Axl Rose singer but he doesn't show it physically It's just a, a really sad song. I don't know the specific meaning behind it. If anyone knows, please tell me. Um, yeah, I've eaten the sun, so so my tongue has been burned of the taste. I think is what he said. I mean, what does that mean? Are we talking drugs? Are we talking suicide? I, I don't know. Um, I know Lane is the lead singer, but Jerry wrote a lot of the songs as well so the meaning behind the song i don't know down in a hole um losing control what is what where, why are we in a hole if anyone knows welcome to put it in the comments um just the notes the melancholy feel the the grunge era was known for very sad songs um not forgetting that alice in chains started in the late 80s but really hit home in the early 90s when nirvana um came onto the scene so the the seattle scene was was massive um soundgarden um pearl jam obviously came out nirvana we know but alice in chains were almost um still a rock band as opposed to a grunge band so maybe they missed that that scene to start off with guys thank you again for joining me in listening to alice in chains they'll be back i'm sure of it um drop a like drop a comment let me know what you want to hear and what you want to see i'll do my best to get to it and uh, i look forward to seeing you here in the music room next time thanks guys yeah.